The Great Mcflation Bidenomics Failure Revealed in One Chart. So we're going to show the chart. We're going to show um, a couple of things to, show, to, to prove that um, Bidenomics, Biden economy, is hurting everyone. Um, not even McDonald's is surviving. McDonald's used to be the cheap restaurant you go to to get you something to eat really quick for the kids. Never really was considered like a gourmet restaurant or anything like that. But these prices that they're charging... It's ridiculous. Um, but the thing is, McDonald's have to raise their prices. Either that or they're going to make the portion sizes smaller, make the burgers smaller, because they have to do something to fight this inflation. That's why in some places, um, it's going to cost like 18, 18, 17, 18 bucks to get a burger at McDonald's. This is crazy. Anyone, I, don't, I mean, I don't understand at this point how anyone can support um, Joe Biden. I don't. I really don't understand. Um, if you don't know that he is ruining this country, then you're hiding under a rock and you're delusional. It, it's crazy, and you can see that he really doesn't have any support when he's driving down the street in um, Democrat cities. No one comes around. No, it might be a handful of people waving, um, 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 waving at him or so. But when you see Trump come to town, it'll be thousands of people out there waving flags and showing support for Trump. Um, uh, because it's the economy stupid and people are suffering right now and so they're going to vote with their dollars and they're going to vote for Trump but um, we're going to talk a little bit about Biden's terrible economy but before we get started go ahead and hit that like button share this out so we can get this information out there subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff also check out my link tree in the description it has a link to my Patreon that's where I talk about things that I, I can't talk about here alright so Let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from uh, Zero Hedge. You know, uh, uh, Tyler Dur Durden. You know, that's a Surrey name. Um, <clears throat> sorry, stage name or, or um, uh, whatever, whatever you call it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it blanks my mind, but we all know that's the um, guy from um, Fight Club. <clears throat> but anyway, um, and he reports that the primary appeal of fast food burgers, even though the food is horrible for your health, we all know it, um, is cheap and fast. Um, in recent weeks, McDonald's indirectly admitted that three years of McFlation was crushing burger demand among working poor cus uh, consumers. And there was an urgent need within the burger chain to reintroduce the $5 meal deal. Ex-users have been disgusted with $18 Big Mac meals at some of the burger chain restaurants nationwide. It's just ridiculous. I would never, never pay almost $20 for a freaking burger. That's just crazy. But again, they have to, they have, they have to make a profit. A restaurant already work on um, razor thin margins. And with the, if the price of food goes up, they're going to have to raise their prices. I mean, it's simple economics. Either that or, again, make the portion smaller. They have to figure out the, some way to make um, to make money off of this. So, I mean, we really can't blame McDonald's. We, but where does the buck stop? We all know that the buck stops at the, um, at the president's desk, at Joe Biden's desk. But um, instead of him owning up to it and taking accountability, Biden is blaming everyone except himself. He's blaming the greedy, quote, unquote, greedy corporations. But really, these are franchises. These franchises are owned. Maybe the franchisees have like one or two or three maybe restaurants. This, um, they they rent, these are um, franchises. These aren't like super duper wealthy corp big um um big corporations. Yes, McDonald's is a big corporation, but individuals own these McDonald's, so they have to raise their prices to try to make the margins. Um, <clears throat> but um. Sam Lerner, he uh, tweeted out, this was a rest stop, but these McDonald prices are nuts. Look at this. Um, look at some of the prices here. The combo here, $17.59 for a Big Mac combo. That is crazy. Eight forty four dollars quarter pounder. A McCrispy is $17.99 for a chicken sandwich. $17, you pay $18.00. For a chicken sandwich, that is crazy. We would never. I mean, if I would have told you when 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 Trump was in office, if I would have told you you had to pay twenty dollars for a chicken sandwich at McDonald's, you would have you would have called me a liar. Cause this is just crazy. 
but some were even reminded of the good old days when the same meal cost five dollars right before uh the gfc and right before the federal reserve um embarked on a decade of zero bound interest rates and trillions of dollars in money printing that fueled financial asset bu bubbles um so we got golden coast tweeted out these prices at mcdonald's sure looks uh, like the dollar is in crash mode. Eighteen dollars for a Big Mac meal. Um, this uh, used to be five dollars in two thousand and eight. Just crazy. Look, look at these prices. You can't even afford McDonald's anymore. Uh, fast forward to today, the persistent inflation storm is being driven by the U.S. Treasury spending like it's in a depression or spending an absurd one trillion dollars every one hundred days. Government continues and continues and continues to spend again. They're going to spend us out of existence. Um, Bidenomic stealth stimulus have resulted in massive economic miscalculation by the federal government and the Federal Reserve. It's not just Zero Hedge saying this, but the uh, Dequees family, I, I, I know I pronounced that wrong, office uh, chairman and CEO Stan Drunkenmiller recently gave Biden an F. I think I did a report on that one. Um, and look at this tweet here. <laughs> Inflation's not that high. And then they got a picture of uh, of Hunter Biden. <laughs> Inflation. Uh, pretty funny. Well, real wages for the mo for most consumers have been terrible under Biden first term, Biden's first term, but not under Trump's. Here we go right here with real real wages. Um and we can we can see the we can see the difference here. Um, as the election cycle heats up, X user in wokeness, um, I think I follow, I think I follow in wokeness, um, has reminded everyone about elevated food inflation impacting menu prices at McDonald's, Taco Bell, and Chick-fil-A. The data compared year, year in 2019 menu prices at the three restaurants with current prices. The results are startling. Some menu items are up triple digits in, in, uh, in several or so years. Here we go. So, end of 2019, medium fries was a dollar seventy nine. Mid 2024, four dollars and nineteen cents for a freaking medium fry. That's a hundred and thirty four point one percent increase. McChicken, one twenty nine. Heck, I remember when the McChicken was a dollar. But um, in, in the end of 2019, the McChicken was one twenty nine. Um, price medium price mid 2024 the price is $3.49 this is crazy Big Mac 3.99 2024 7.49 McNuggets 10 piece McNugget 4.49 now 7.58 a cheeseburger cheeseburger was just a dollar I remember um, um, the McDonald's the local McDonald's I used to go to back in the day um, years ago they would have, uh, I think it was like, it's like eighty cent Tuesdays or something like that, and you can go in and get a, and get a burger for like eighty cents or something ridiculous like that. It's crazy, and I would go and load up. That's when I was super broke. I would go and load up on them burgers. You would never ever get that ever again, especially under Biden. Um, here go Taco Bell. The Taco Bell has really gone up. Like Taco Bell used to be the spot to go to back in the day when you were broke. And you needed something quick and easy, um, something quick to eat, and that's even expensive now. Taco Bell, um, you got the beefy five layer burrito is one sixty nine, um, now it's three sixty nine on average. Nacho Bell Grande was three twenty nine, now it's five eighty nine. The spicy potato is a dollar. It's only nineteen cents more, but still, it's it's gone up. Um, cheesy bean, um, bean and rice. It's just bean and rice. Used to be a dollar. Now it's a dollar nineteen. Crunch Wrap Supreme, three forty nine. Now it's five twenty nine. And lastly, we got Chick Fil A, got the deluxe burger, three sixty five. I'm um, deluxe uh, deluxe chicken sandwich. Sorry, not the burger, three sixty five. Now it's six fifty five. An increase of seventy nine point five percent. Eight Chick Fil A nuggets, three dollars, three dollars and five cents in twenty nineteen. Now it's five dollars and ninety nine cents. Wow, a ninety six. 0.4 percent but you get it and so forth and so on it's 
It's just ridiculous. But food inflation has been problematic for Biden's campaign team to navigate. They've already given up on Bidenomics. You notice they no longer use that term. And Biden, where is Biden? Biden is not campaigning. He's not going out talking to people. He's hiding. And they said they were going to keep him tucked away, um, just like they did in 2020. And they're definitely keeping him tucked away right now. He's not really campaigning. It was just crazy. Um, more recently, Biden's team have used popular buzzwords, greedflation, shrinkflation. That's the one I hear a lot with shrinkflation. Um, to convince voters why Big Macs in certain states and towns now cost $18. This is a significant pivot from blaming Putin price hikes um, for every economic mishap. Um, it's difficult to believe Biden's greedflation story because government data shows that retail prices for ground beef and chicken have surged and remain elevated. Also, major commodity indexes tracked by Bloomberg and the United Nations have yet to come back come down to earth all of this indicates companies had to push up prices to protect margins that's what i was just alluding to they have to make a profit or they would not be in business so to protect their margins again they either have to raise the prices or stop giving you as much as simple as i mean simple economics but of course biden is going to deflect uh the current issue is that inflation is being driven by re uh re accelerating commodity prices while the u.s government is spending as if it's in a depression again they're going to spend us into oblivion meanwhile clueless democrats have who ignore out of control government spending as the root cause of inflation are demanding price controls on food socialism anyone Similar to what communists, that's what I was just alluded to, similar to what communists or socialists do in third world countries. The only problem with that is that price controls can trigger shortages and surpluses, longer lines, lower quality products, and of course, misallocation of products. We know how this works. Do not let them try to do these price controls. Let capitalism do its job and stop spending us out of oblivion. That's how we get out of this mess. But let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.